What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and recently I attended the UBW Hurricane Rana 2 wrestling event in Stockfold. Now guys, for those of you that don't know, I am training to become a professional wrestler at the Square One Academy, which is owned by Ultimate British Wrestling. Now when you're training to become a wrestler, when you're wanting to be a wrestler, it's not as easy as going to training doing training for a little while and then being booked on shows, winning championships, having all the glory, etc, etc. It is not as easy as that. You have to pay your dues. You have to work your way up the ladder uh, to eventually get to that level. And one of the ways of doing that is you attend shows for your promotion, you help out, whether that be on the merch stand, whether that be setting the ring up, doing whatever, putting chairs out, all the good stuff. Uh, that you guys don't actually see. You just come to the wrestling show, watch, then leave. Obviously, there is a lot that goes into it behind the scenes. I have been attending these shows since May, uh, but it was only recently at the Hurricane Rana show where I actually had a pretty big role. Guys, I was the backstage interviewer for the show. So once the wrestlers would go out and do their match, they'd come to the back, speak to me, I'd ask them questions about their match, would get an interview, they'd go off and rinse and repeat for the whole night. It was fantastic. You know, I've done a little bit of interviewing before at WWE Live. Check out the video if you haven't seen it already. It was fantastic. Uh, so I had a little bit of interviewing skill or a little bit of experience, I should say. You know, I'm, I don't claim to be a professional interviewer, uh, not even in the slightest, but I was talking to my guys at my promotion and we all agreed that I'd be good for the role. So I don't know if this is gonna be a regular thing. Uh, I hope it is, I'd be more than happy to do it. Uh, but for this show in particular, I was the backstage interviewer. Now I've been given permission to upload the clips. Uh, as long as I tag the socials, which I'm going to do. Guys, please hear me out right now. If you support the Joe Talks Wrestling channel, please support Ultimate British Wrestling as well. Subscribe to the UBW uh, YouTube channel. Follow them on Instagram. Check out their Facebook. If you're local and the shows are nearby, please attend the wrestling shows. I'm normally always there. Just do what you can to support. Make sure you learn who the wrestlers are. You know, if you get into like AEW for the first time or whenever you get into a different wrestling promotion, do that. It's just on a much smaller scale with UBW, but it would really, really mean a lot. Now, these interviews have already been edited and uploaded to the UBW socials, but I have been given permission to re-upload them. But you guys aren't going to really know what the context is behind the interviews, who the wrestlers are, etc., etc. That's why I'm saying please check out the stuff already and uh, just sort of learn who people are. Try and get to grips with, okay, this they're a babyface, they're a heel, this is what they do, etc., etc., etc. But yeah, there is going to be a little bit of context. The start of the clips will show the highlights from their match or whatever it is, and then it will go into my interview. So... I want you guys to check out the interviews. I want you to share UBW stuff. I want you to help me help me get UBW known uh, because it would really mean a lot to me. I've already made my debut as El Gentonio in the Square One Rumble and hopefully everything is up from here. But, you know, it would, it would really do me a solid if we can get more eyes on the Ultimate British Wrestling product. So there you go. Expect the UBW Hurricane Rana 2 interviews in the near future. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.